Hello, friends, and welcome to Rise Up in Real Estate, where we are on a quest. We are looking for the extra in the ordinary. And I'm Tad Fulford, and I will be your host on this journey, where we will take an honest look at what makes ordinary people extraordinary. Exactly how can we be extra in our personal and our professional lives? In this season of the Rise Up in Real Estate Adventure, there will be a monthly rhythm, meaning each month we will have four unique episodes. In one episode, we'll tackle a pressing current real estate industry thought. In another, we will chat with a local difference maker in the real estate space. For our third episode, we will host a respected national thought leader. And finally, we will have a fourth bonus and surprise episode. And in each episode, we will be digging into not only what those people think, but who those people are. Along the way, it's my hope that you'll laugh some, you'll be challenged some, you will get inspired some, and if we are lucky, maybe even figure out a way or two, you can rise up in your own life and be the best human that you can be. So the challenge is, let's all... Rise up. So, hello, Rise Up Nation. We are here for season two of Rise Up in Real Estate. And I wanted to come to you in this first episode of the season. Here we are at the beginning of January. Happy New Year. Happy 2023. We hope that all of your um, wishes come true this year. We talk about it a lot here. Rise Up Nation, we want you to live abundantly. We want you to live the life that you deserve to live. And we want you to be able to craft that life. That's what we talk about quite frequently here. And I wanted to start off this season really like this semester. We probably will run these episodes through the summertime, take another break, and then go into fall semester. I like the idea of running these episodes like a college uh, schedule would be. I have a college student right now. He's at Liberty University and sophomore. He's in the air right now flying to see his his girlfriend in New York uh, for a few days. And I just like the idea of working hard for the semester, doing an episode every week, every uh, publishing it every Monday on Rise Up in Real Estate so that you can enjoy that and um, taking a break sometime over the summer and then coming back again full force again in the fall. So for the first season of Rise Up in Real Estate, if you didn't pay attention or you didn't have a chance to listen to any episodes, if this is your first time with us, welcome. I want you to know that you can listen to the trailer of our our show, but I want you to know that the reason that we do this show is to find the extraordinary in the ordinary. What is it about ordinary people that is extra, that makes them extraordinary? And we sprinkle in a little bit of real estate. Uh, and in this first season, the last uh, 20 episodes or so last fall, uh, what we had just incredible guests. You need to go back and find an episode from Pamela Krigbaum or Lori White or Kristen Bullion or Craig Atkins or Brian Steros, um, some special friends from out of town, Kelly Salter and Colin Stevens. We got Jeremy Blanton. I mean, the list goes on and on. We did some solo episodes. I try to keep the episodes to about 30 minutes. So in my opinion, you should be able to pop it in an Audible or your favorite podcast um, platform and listen to it on your way to work or to get the kids from school or heaven forbid, sitting in the car line. Don't forget when you're in that car line, there's things that you can get done. You can absolutely uh, progress your personal and professional life by listening to edifying content. And that's what this podcast hopefully is. So we want you to be able to listen to a 30 minute episode um, that's bite size in my opinion. So a lot of great episodes, uh, a lot of great things that we learned about people. We learned a lot of things about the way that some of these folks, uh, the the tragedies that they've been through. I I remember Kelly Salter's story and Sammy uh, Knight's story, the tragedies or sometimes adversity, how they can uh, deal with it and and turn it into a positive in their life. Pamela Craigbaum certainly did that. Lori White, um, Jeremy Blanton, all these names that I'm sh- shouting out to you are just human beings that are in my circle of friends that I feel like are really uh, great examples of what it means to be extraordinary. We did some real estate talk too. We talked a little bit about the market and how it certainly is changing. And it's, uh, you know, we've heard a lot of people talk about how things are moving, you know, 2019, 2020, 2021, None of these years were normal, quote unquote. But I, you know, I've been doing this since the year 2000. I'm not sure there is such a thing as normal. 
But people are saying now that this is shifting market. It's changing. Like clearly inventory is changing. Sellers' expectations are changing. Buyers' expectations, availability of property, interest rates, consumer confidence, just the list goes on and on um, about things that are shifting, but I would argue that they always are. So as we enter into this second season, I want to encourage you to go back and pick an episode or two and listen to it from last season, just to get the flavor of what we're all about here at Rise Up in Real Estate. We also have a, uh, a um, I do a Facebook and Instagram, as well as a YouTube page where I do a video every week relating to something to deal with real estate. And I think usually they're five to seven minutes long, maybe shorter, maybe a little bit longer. I think you would also find that that would supplement your journey well if you go find Rise Up in Real Estate on Facebook or Instagram or on uh, YouTube. You will find those videos. We just did a great one about what it means to accomplish your New Year's resolution. Um, We talked about it on this show, but we just did a video about that. So I would encourage you to do that as you go. So listen to a past episode. Go and find those pages too on social media to um, edify yourself. And then the last thing I wanted to share with you today is going forward, here's what my commitment to you is. As you've noticed, as we've done these last several episodes, we have, there's a pattern that is becoming established. I like to ask similar questions of my guests so that you get comfortable with uh, the way things are going. And so you can expect, like every guest I ask about a book that they can recommend. I'll continue to do that. I also ask them, what is something that they do to rise up in their personal or professional life, to rise above the fray, to rise above the the normal or the ordinary, to be extraordinary? I'm going to ask that question. I'm going to keep going forward with that question. I'm also going to continue to ask one of my favorite questions that I ask everyone is, what do you believe your superpower is? What do you think that you bring to the table that not many other people do? What is your purpose? What is the thing that you bring to the to our our world, our planet? That if you don't do it, it will remain undone. I'm going to ask that question continually. What I am going to commit to you, though, as I uh, go forward, commit to again 30 minute episodes. We are going to do a few call in shows. Um, I will alert you as those are approaching. We will do some call in shows where it's either dealing with a personal or a real estate topic, a current event, something that happens um, that we can just discuss on the air and get your thoughts and attitudes about it. Because uh, hopefully you know that my um, my angle here with this podcast and with even the social media app pages and, and actually the way that I live my life is that we're here together on this planet to um, help each other live the life that we want to live. Like we are here to support each other in abundance. We're here to uh, bring a lot of um, su- just support, encouragement, inspiration, if you will, through each other's stories. We can learn vicariously through each other, the things that we've been through. Like I think of Lori White's story and and the thing that she shared with us, uh, experience that she had that we never will have to have because she had it. So as we go forward, I want to commit to you, though, that I'm going to dig a little deeper again in the personal uh, segments of these interviews. I'm going to get into to the uh, crux of the matter more. I'm going to get in quicker to the heart of what each person brings to the table. I will determine that ahead of time and get to the um, get to it quicker. And I also want to commit to you that as we go forward that I'm going to start I'm going to try to identify, and I don't know how this will happen, but it'll happen with the first few guests. I'm going to uh, identify some questions, some professional questions I can ask on a consistent basis of my guests, like I'm asking the personal ones, that will begin to give us a catalog of thoughts and ideas uh, that they can, that we can start referring back to. Something maybe like, what is what's one business practice that you have? Uh, found in the last 12 months that is new to you that has really been effective? Or ask them a question such as, um, what's one thing that's really challenging in your business right now? Or what's, what is your superpower in business? Maybe I could ask that question. But I am going to commit to you that as I go forward with real estate, that I'm going to ask more real estate related questions. I'm going to dig a little bit deeper into our profession. And uh, I'll confess to you that I do get caught up in the personal aspect um, a lot. Like I just love people's stories. That's I think that's one of the reasons I'm love being human is we just can can talk about the things that we've been through and learn from each other. But I'm gonna give you more uh, content. I guess there. I guess it is. And I also want to uh, have the freedom 
to go outside of just real estate, if that's okay with you. Like there are other entrepreneurs in our in our in our circles that I've, they've been brought to my attention that I need to interview, whether they might be uh, insurance, mortgage, uh, property management, maybe they're in uh, just their own. They've got their own small business. Maybe they own a restaurant. Maybe they own a coaching company. Maybe they own. Uh, maybe they're a public speaker. I've got just people list lined up that want to be on our show, but they're not exactly in the real estate space. With your permission, I'm going to be able to ask them to come on our show and dovetail their stories into ours and see um, and see what we accomplish from there. If you live or own property along the coast of South Carolina, you probably need insurance. We Insure Advocates is a locally owned independent agency with industry leading service support. Our team of customer centric agents can explain your coverage options and help you craft an insurance program that fits your needs and budget. Data driven for better value, people led for better service. That's the difference of we. For all of your property insurance needs, please find us at weinsureadvocates.com or call us at 843 Four nine one six nine nine zero. So that's going forward for the next, I guess, another 20 episodes or so. We will um, have special guests. We'll have call-in shows. We will dig deep on superpower. We'll dig deep on um, things, habits. We'll dig deep on abundance. We'll dig deep on business practices. We'll also dig deep on uh, what what are we experiencing day to day and like current events. What is it currently that we're going through? And I'm going to let my gift of inspiration and my gift of question asking lead the way. So if you haven't ever listened to Rise Up in Real Estate before, I want to formally welcome you to Rise Up Nation. I would ask that you follow us on your favorite social media, I mean, your favorite podcast host. I don't know if you know this, but you can find it on Google. You can find it on Spotify, Apple, even Audible has it. There are several places you can find us, but find us and follow us. It even helps us if you would rate us. We've had over a thousand downloads in our first season, and we're super excited about that. We have a lot of follows and likes on our social media pages. Videos are getting lots of hits and lots of attention as well. So we want you to be a part of Rise Up Nation going forward. And as always, if you have a a suggestion, if you have something that you could send to me that you want to hear about, see about, be about, if you want to be on the show, if you think that you've got something to contribute, which believe me, that's the whole premise of the show is that everyone does. Like everyone's ordinary and they've got inside them that extraordinary part. So we're going to dig and find it. Every person has something to contribute. If you want to be on the show, just reach out to me. You can find me at on at my, my personal email is tadfulford at gmail.com. You can find me. My, my cell phone number is on this um, attached to the show notes here. You can certainly text me or call me at any time and say, hey, I'd love to be on the show. And really, um, as I, the last thing I'm going to share with you is going forward, 2023, did you make some resolutions? Did you make some commitments? Uh, I certainly have. We had a baby on January the 1st, if you can believe that. That makes us having one baby um, the day after Valentine's Day, one baby on Thanksgiving Day, one baby the week of Thanksgiving, one baby the week of Memorial Day, and then one baby on Uh, New Year's Day. I think my daughter Casey is the only one that wasn't born on a holiday except her special day, her birthday. But we had a baby on January the 1st. And in the midst of all of the holding of the baby, I've had a lot of time to think. And I have made some commitments. And you'll notice those commitments unfolding in these episodes over the next few weeks. Um, I have, I'll just mention a few things. Like I'm going to, I'm putting together a board of directors for myself, like a personal board of directors, accountability board of directors for me. Um, just a group of people that I'm going to invite to see if they would like to help me in this way for this calendar year. Uh, ask me hard questions, um, converse with me uh, in person at coffee or lunch or Zoom or on the phone, whatever might work, and just hold me to a higher standard uh, of excellence. I'm going to call that forward for me uh, this year. I have committed to a intense um, coaching program that I'll unfold with you that will um, teach me on a, on a daily basis, really, 
um, how to be better at what I do that you will benefit from. You will certainly um, experience the fruits of that because I will pass along that content in these podcasts and on our social media pages to you. Um, it is intense. It was by invitation only. It is uh, led by one of the greatest thought leaders of, of our time. Um, I, you probably know the name Darren Hardy. I have gone all in with Darren and I'm excited about what that will bring to the table. I'm picking my word for 2023. I've got two that are in competition. I'll share that word with you as we unfold um, going forward. I've also, uh, I know the two personal struggles that I deal with on a regular basis right now that need attention. This is the reason I'm calling this board of directors together. Um, you know, I, diet, exercise, uh, fitness, personal health is one of them. Um, doing so, so much better than I did several years ago, but still have some tightening up to do. That's one area. And the other is, is my, um, my view of competition. Uh, I'm just a, such a competitive person that I don't like to lose at all. I don't like to, you know, it's not to the point where I don't celebrate other successes, but I, I just have an edge about me that I've got to learn to cultivate. I'm hoping my personal board of directors will help me with that. So all of these things, as you know, if you've been a part of this podcast so far, part of Rise Up Nation, you'll know that I wear my heart on my sleeve. I will let you know the way that I'm growing. And the idea is as I consume content, as I consume thoughts and ideas from these leaders all over the I mean I can just name names of people that I'm I'm interacting with every day that I'll pass that stuff along to you. And no matter no matter who you're affiliated with, no matter what brand or no brand or even the industry that you're in, I think every episode and every time you watch a video on our social media, you will um, you will benefit, you will grow, you will learn, you will become better, uh, and that's the whole idea, isn't it? We we are better to to make others better. We're we are given to so that we can give away, and that's my commitment to you here, Rise Up Nation. So thanks for listening in today. I look forward to seeing you guys next episode, which will have a special guest that uh, will shed some light on how she lives her life. And I just am excited about 2023. And together, we will all rise up. Well, hey, that's a wrap, folks. Thank you so much for listening to Rise Up in Real Estate. If you liked hanging out with us today, please find us on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube at Rise Up in Real Estate. Also, Follow us right now on your favorite podcast host to hear more episodes. We really appreciate you spending some of your time with us. And until next time, let's do each other a favor and all help each other rise up.